Hello everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel. In today's video, I am talking all about alphabet stamps. You may remember a little while back, I did a whole video about different ways to use alphabet dies, and I promised I would do one about alphabet stamps. So here it finally is. So let's jump right in to making some cards with alphabet stamps and really find ways to stretch those supplies. I especially like alphabet stamps that come in fun, unique fonts, and you can use those to create a very cool graphic looking background. For today's video, I'm using the Stamp Markets Pretty Poster Alpha. These are the lowercase alphas. You can see they are a really fun, sort of chubby, but cool font. I love these stamps and I wanted to come up with different ways to use them. So I am laying out some of the alphabet onto an A2 piece of white cardstock. It is Nina Solar White in 110 pound. I am using the Stamp Markets Gravel Ink, which is kind of a neutral, sort of warm, light gray. And the reason that I'm using this color is because we're gonna put some really bright colors on top. This is just going to be the background. So I kind of want it to be subtle, but you can still see that font. I am using my Debbie tool because I have a lot of stamps on this card that I'm trying to stamp and the Debbie tool applies even pressure for me when I can't get enough pressure from my own hands. So I just kind of made this an organic look. It is not straight and linear. And now I'm going to use Sunny Studios Color My World stamps. In a previous video, I used their layering stamps from this set to create the crayons. This time I decided to use the artist's palette and you can see that the palette is created with two different stamps and then each of the little paint blots on the palette have two layering stamps. So it kind of creates the look of dimension on those little paint palettes there. So you can see you layer one color that's like the solid and then you put another on top and it's got those little shine marks to it. I also stamped out the paintbrush. There are several stamps to create the paintbrush, but it's very easy to figure out and line up. And then the brush tip itself has two different stamps. So you can see that layer there to create that image of paint on that paintbrush. I'm using some waffle flower stamps and the Stamp Market's black ink for the sentiment. It says, you color my world. I wanted something just a little bit larger than the ones from the Sunny Studio set, so that's why I went to the Waffle Flower set. You can see there was a little spot in between the alphas. I covered that up with my sentiment, and then I'm popping up the palette and the paintbrush, and I just, I don't know what it is about those alphas. I just love the way they look as a background. I think they are just such a super cool font that they really kind of make a fun and kind of whimsical background for a card. So I popped up that paintbrush as well on a thin piece of foam tape. And now I'm just going to add some Nouveau Crystal Glaze to each of those little paint palettes. And then I also added it to the tip of the paintbrush as well so that the paint looked nice and shiny. And you can see how the alphas in the background do kind of have a subtle look, but they are just a fun artistic look as well. There's no reason to buy specialty monogram note cards when you can make your own with alphabet stamps. These also make really great gifts. This time I'm using the Stamp Market's Pretty Poster Alpha in the uppercase, and I'm using my Simon Says Stamp Grid Transparency inside my Mini Misty. You can see the cardstock is a little smaller than A2. It's actually four by five and a quarter. That's why it doesn't line up completely with the grid transparency, but it gives me a good enough idea of where to place those alphas in the center of that cardstock. And then I just remove the transparency and I'm ready to ink up my stamps. So I am using my own initials. I'm gonna make them for myself, but you could make them with anybody's initials and give this, like I said, as a gift, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make several of these monograms in different colors. Once I have the stamps placed in my mini Misty, I can just use all my favorite colors of the Stamp Market inks and create a 
bunch of different monogram colors on this white cardstock. Again, I am using Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock, and you could definitely use a different cardstock if you prefer. I really like the look of the Nina Solar White, and we're gonna mat it on top of some colorful cardstock as well. So I've chosen several of my favorite colors. You would obviously use colors that you think that the person that you're giving the gift to would like. I love these combinations of pinks and peach and turquoise, and that's just my favorite. This raspberry was really nice as well. It's just much of a brighter color. I love all of the inks from the stamp market, and these fonts for the alphas are perfect for monograms. You could do one letter, you could do two, you could probably do three. You could definitely do three if you had it in the horizontal format. I did get a little ink in a spot that I didn't want it, so I just wait until it dries and then use my sand eraser to just rub that ink spot away. And Okay, there is all four of them ready to be matted onto cardstock. The nice thing about the stamp market is that the inks that they have also have coordinating colors of cardstock. So I just grabbed four colors of cardstock that matched the ink colors that I had chosen, and I'm just using some tape runner to adhere the panel down to an A2 piece of the colorful cardstock. And that would be, I think, perfect just as is. But if you wanted to add a little bit of embellishment, the stamp market has a bunch of different enamel dots in colors that really go along with their rainbow. So I just found ones for each of the inks and cardstocks that I chose, and then I put one large enamel dot with two medium size on either side of it. And like I said, that's just like a fun embellishment if you're looking for something to kind of spice it up a little bit or make it a little bit extra special. You could add a little bit of foiling maybe to your monogrammed cards so that that would make it a little special as well. Once you finish your note cards, you could tie them up in ribbon or put them in a clear bag and then tie them up with ribbon and give them as a gift or keep them for yourself. ABCs can also be used for teacher thank yous or new baby cards. So let's make one of those now. My kids are a bit older, so we don't really do the cutesy teacher thank yous, but I wanted to make a new baby card. So I am grabbing the Lawn Fawn Happy <laughs> stamp set, and I'm gonna stamp out the pea pod, and then I'm gonna stamp three of the little peas, and I am using Gina K's Amalgam Black Ink because you can use that if you're going to Copic color. I'm gonna do some very, very basic Copic coloring of these little peas and pea pod. So I am starting with a few colors of green. The first one I'm going to use is YG13, and I'm just going to fill in the main part of the pea pod with this, trying not to create too many lines and just filling it in with that light color. Then I'm gonna take the dark color, which is YG09, and I'm just gonna flick from one end towards the middle and then from the other end towards the middle as well. So I'm gonna have the ends be darker and that center part be a little bit lighter and I will put a little bit of dark on the bottom as well to shade. And then I'm gonna take my medium, which is YG05, and I'm gonna try and blend out any of the harsh lines from the darker color and then go back to that lightest color to just really blend everything out. For one or two of the peas, I'm going to have medium and dark and just have one side kind of be shaded. And then for the last one, I did only the light color and I stamped the little face. The set comes with a bunch of different little faces on it. And as you remember, I'm not great at fussy cutting, but this one is easy enough to fussy cut out. I think I was given this set as a gift and so I didn't have the dies, uh, which is fine. These were easy enough to cut out. So I just took A, B, C, D, and E, F, and I am stacking them on top of each other in the center of my card panel. And my card panel is an A2 white card panel. So I'm going to play with some ink layering here. I've started with fresh pink and I've inked up 
all of the alphas with fresh pink. And the reason that I always use my Misty when I'm doing stamping like this is because stuff like that happens to me all the time where I miss a part or I maybe don't ink up the whole stamp the right way. The next color I'm going to do is kind of in the middle there, I added some party pink. And then down at the bottom, I added some peony. So we kind of have a gradient of color going from lightest to darkest on those letters, just a slightly different look. I did trim that panel down to four by five and a quarter so that I could mat it on some party pink cardstock. And now I'm going to use the stamps sentiments from the Lawn Fawn set to stamp welcome sweet pea in between those alphas there. So those alphas are once again going to be kind of a background, but also sort of a theme around, you know, new babies, ABCs kind of thing. So I popped up the little pea pod after I stamped my sentiments. And now I'm going to pop up two of the peas that don't have faces on the sides there. And then I'm going to double pop up the pea in the center. So I'm just going to cut a little piece and then remove the protective layer, cut another little piece and put that right on top and then remove that protective layer. This way, when I pop up that pea in the center, it will really be the focus of that pea pod there. Also because it is a lighter green too. So I think it does really stand out. Once again, the Nouveau Crystal Glaze to add a little bit of shine to those peas. And I think that's a really cute and fun new baby card. One way to use alphabet stamps is to customize your card for someone's name. There especially are names that the spelling or the name itself is not generally found in stickers, pencils, or mugs. So it can be fun to make a card special for that person with their name right on the card. This is going to be a birthday card. So I'm using the happy birthday sentiment from the stamp market stopping by to say stamp set. And then I'm gonna use those pretty poster alphas in the lowercase for the name. And I know that there are tons of spellings of Michaela out there. So I know that it would be very hard to get a personalized Michaela card unless you made it yourself or paid someone to make it specially for that person. I am going to stamp the name in a rainbow of inks. Love this rainbow from the stamp market. So much fun. And when I was lining up these stamps, the reason that I didn't put them all down at once is because I didn't think I was going to have enough room, even on a typical slimline card for all the alphas. I did end up having a little room at the end, but what happened was I didn't stamp them very straight. So I decided to trim down the name to be small enough that I could put it on top of a slimline card. The upside of trimming the name down was that I was able to then create a slimline card with two different pieces of colorful cardstock matted on top of each other. So it just made the card more colorful. So even though it started as a mistake, it ended up being, I think, what I liked better anyway. So I restamped the happy birthday onto this pink cardstock in black ink. And now I'm able to add some tape runner down on the back of the rainbow name that I stamped out. And once that was done, I decided to add more of those enamel dots. And again, they have colors that really match their rainbow of inks and cardstock. So I was able to find colors to go around all of the different colors of stamped letters. And I feel like that adds kind of a confetti look, which is perfect for a personalized birthday card. If you have other fun ways to use alphabet stamps, I'd love to hear about them in the comments below. And don't forget to check out my alphabet die video over here. I wanna thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon. That die video over here, it's over there. <laughs> I'd love to hear about them, about them. <laughs> it's been a long day.